Gerald Walker, Department of Writing, Literature, and Publishing. My title is Associate Professor and Interim Chair. Primarily I teach creative writing in nonfiction. They're workshops, and so students submit their writing, the class reads it, we discuss it, we critique it. Uh, the main thing I want my students to know in these classes in particular is how to write with clarity, which is to say how to communicate what they're saying without any ambiguity and with exact precision. Journalism students often take my classes. So um, what my students do, they write essays, they write memoirs, uh, their short pieces tend to, eh, we can get 25, 30 pages sometimes. And everyone will read a copy of the text a week prior to it being workshopped. And then we come in and tell the writer how we responded to it. And then we try to point to the text to give specific examples of why we got the read we got. And what I need my readers to do is to defend what they say by referring to the text. We recognize that there are three distinct disciplines that sort of work together and feed off of each other. So we want to recognize that in our title. Um, the neat thing about it is in our graduate programs, for instance, which are in writing and publishing, students can be accepted in the creative writing program and still take classes in publishing. And if you're accepted as a publisher, you can take classes in creative writing. And if you come in as a poet, you can take classes in fiction. And so there's this cross-fertilization that takes place in our graduate program that you also won't see in many other programs. Flannery O'Connor was asked why she writes short stories. And she said, because I'm good at it. I won't go so far as to say I'm good at what I do, but I will say I've gotten positive feedback. And when you write a piece and people respond to it and they, they, they affirm what it is you do, um, it encourages you to do it more. And also, it's addictive for me. Once I started writing in my mid-20s, uh, nothing that I had tried, and I tried plenty, uh, got me as high as the process of creating a story on the page and then having people read it and taking something away from it that they found useful or positive. That's a high that I cannot uh, find anywhere else, and so I'm, I'm, I'm committed to this activity and I will not stop. The students are motivated. They come here knowing what it is they want to do with themselves. Everybody's creative. Um, you get in an elevator and someone next to you is singing. This person over here is doing some kind of dance number. Um, and it's kind of a cool, cool place to be. One of our students, uh, I think, was nominated for a National Book Award. We have another who is the series editor for Best American Short Stories, which is you know, pretty amazing. And the list goes on and on and on. So our students here uh, are certainly carrying on the uh, reputation of the program by achieving a great deal. I, I'm blown away by what we produce here.